Well, we're passionate about building larger boats. You know, we, there's a lot of learning to be had in them. They're fascinating. They, they bring a new technology to us, which the rest of the fleet will benefit from. We want an absolute beautiful world-class look, but we don't want to sacrifice the practical use of the boat because it's a long-term customer satisfaction that we're after. Well, the boat's been in build for about a year. Um, we've uh, been in the development process for about six months before that. Um, if you think of just the assembly hours, uh, I think we've put about 40,000 hours into this boat. Um, in the last uh, month or two, we've had almost uh, 80 to 100 people working on it on a daily basis. When we launch a new project, uh, the guys see it as an honour to go onto that boat and the top craftsmen apply to come on it and go through an interview process to get on and to have the privilege of building the boat. The build up to launch of the boat was fantastic. We were running at that point in time with about 100 men on it, double shifting it. Um, the boat was coming together on a daily basis, you could see massive improvement. Now at the end of a boat, it starts to blossom because actually most of the work is underneath the skin. So everybody sees the beautiful skin, but most of the hours is actually underneath that skin. So the last thing that comes on is the finishing touches. Just before launch, she actually blossomed into what she is today. Uh, and when we launched her, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, and you know, we had all the crew there uh, watching that process and enjoying, and, and enjoying the honour of seeing it launched. We thought, how could we create a world-class launch? And uh, we were fortunate that at the London Boat Show, they were opening a new hall. Uh, we'd started negotiations with them to actually launch the boat inside. And this boat is the biggest boat that will ever be, ever be exhibited at Excel by weight. The last leg of the journey uh, with, with our crew on board was up through Tower Bridge, up the Thames to the flood barrier. Unfortunately, there was a blizzard at the time. The boat was one of uh, a fleet of boats coming in uh, with very, very poor visibility. Uh, but the excitement of getting here was absolutely fantastic. When we brought the boat up to the dockside here, uh, we had the challenge that the boat was actually overweight for the crane. The other was a thousand ton crane lifting her out. Uh, we knew that we had to demount chain, demount anchors, demount a lot of the soft furnishings to get the weight of the boat down so that the crane could lift her. Because as the jibs, the jib uh, lifting out, she's obviously got a weight limit. And we were within two tonne of being able to lift her out. And with this boat looking, oh, I guess it must have been 40 foot in the air as it came around. You know, my heart was in my mouth. It was absolutely a fantastic moment. Well, the logistics of getting her here obviously included all the weight calculations, how we were going to put her on to a very special transporting trailer. We had to make individual cradle for it to come in on and for it to sit on on the show. The, the final hours of getting her into position were fantastic. You know, she came through the door with only inches to spare. The mast had to be demounted because she was too high to come in. Uh, we knew we were going to trap the trailer in place and we had to jack the boat higher uh, to get the trailer out and then move her down into position. Uh, we took about eight hours to get her down into position uh, and then as always, because we, she looked so beautiful jacked up, we decided to jack her back up again uh, and actually modify the special cradle we've made. But uh, she's in position and she looks absolutely glorious. It's clearly the star of the indoor area of the show. It looks fantastic, you can see it right from the other side of the hall. It's just quality. It's a very saleable product in an international market. There's some really seriously sensible layout options that will appeal, I think, to a lot of customers. So all in all, I think it's a terrific achievement. The greatest thing that I've got is an enormous sense of pride. 
um, not, not for myself, I'm fortunate enough to head up a fantastic group of people um, who have worked their, their, their hearts out to get this boat here. Every detail has been worked on it for many, many, many hours. Uh, and you know, all those people in Plymouth can be extremely proud of what we've produced here.